I just want to start by saying I miss you guys. I hope that your first day of remote learning went great and I hope that you keep working hard for the next few weeks with remote learning. I know it's a little bit different and at times it can be frustrating but we're going to get through it and I can't wait till we can get back to school and be together again. But I'm proud of all the hard work that you're going to be doing with remote learning. Today is going to be our very first challenge video day. So every day I will be sending out daily challenges. Today is day one. If you worked with Miss China last year, you probably know what daily challenges are. If this is your first year working with Miss China, I'm gonna explain it a little bit. So every day I will send a link with a video, like this video, where you will have access to daily challenges. There will be a mindfulness challenge, a social skills challenge, and a creativity challenge. You can complete one challenge or you can complete all three challenges. My ask is whenever you do a challenge that you either take a picture of what you're doing, take a video of what you're doing, or write a little something on Seesaw about what you did. I love getting to see all of the things that you're doing at home and it makes me really excited when I see you trying the challenges that we practiced here at home too. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna jump right in to our daily challenges day one. So our first challenge is our social skills challenge and today we're going to be working on some deep breathing with this fancy little ball. So what we're going to do is when we open the ball we're going to practice filling up our bellies with as much air as we can and then when we put the ball back together we're going to blow it all out. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So when I open it I'm going to breathe in as much air as I can get in and then when I close it, I'm going to breathe out. Okay, I want you to do it with me. Here we go, breathe in. Breathe out. We're gonna do three more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. And the last one, breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so you might notice that your body's feeling a little bit calmer. You might feel a little bit more awake. You might feel a little less frustrated or upset if you were feeling that way. You might feel more ready to do work. Now I want you to try something. I want you to try running in place. I'm not going to do it with you this time. This is a challenge that you can do at home and you can take a picture or video of you doing it. I want you to try running in place for one minute. So you're gonna run in place for one minute. When you're done, I want you to put your hand on your heart and feel your heart rate. I want you to think to yourself, is it beating fast or is it beating slow? Then what I want you to do after you feel your heart rate, how it feels after you run, is I want you to take five big breaths like we just practiced together. You'll do five of those. And then I want you to feel your heart rate again. And I want you to see if it feels any different. You'll, you'll, you'll feel right here to see if your heart's beating faster or if it's beating slower. And then I want, want you to let me know. Okay, for our second challenge, our social skills challenge, we're gonna think a little bit about how we're feeling. So I want you to start by thinking of two things that frustrated or were really hard for you or challenging for you either yesterday or today. So I want you to think about all the learning you've done over the computer and I want you to think about what was it that made me really frustrated or that was really hard for me to do or what was something that you know I just I kind of had to take a break from because it, it was something I'm not used to doing. Then what I want you to do is I also want you to think about two things that made you really happy or excited with distance learning. Did you get to see your friends? Did that make you excited? Did you get to see your teacher? Did you get to raise your hand and talk on Zoom? I want you to think of two things that were challenging or frustrating for you and two things that were happy or exciting. Remember, it's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to have hard times. We can work through those hard times, but we also have to remember all of the happy and exciting things that we get too. So you can either take a picture of yourself and type up those things. You can type them in a journal or you can take a video just telling me all of the different things. OK, 
Okay, and for your last challenge, your third challenge, that's your creativity challenge. I want you to either draw or color a picture of what you did this last weekend. It can be any part of what you did last weekend. It can be time you spent with family, something you did fun by yourself, something you were really excited about, something really yummy that you got to eat, anything like that, draw or color a picture. And then if you do that, don't forget to take a picture of it so I can see it. Remember, I love to see all of the things that you're doing at home. So you can always post a picture or a video of any of the challenges that you do. But I hope you have fun with your challenges. I hope you have an awesome rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for our challenge day two.